I think it would be fair to say that the value my family holds most dear and the value at the heart of our foundation is the belief in the importance of education, the power of education. The idea that education is powerful and empowering, that it can be redemptive even, is actually a repeating theme in my father's personal story. Most people knew David Azrieli of blessed memory as a successful developer and businessman, an architect, a Zionist visionary, who brought concepts of modern design and marketing to Israel, completely transforming the country's skylines and consumer culture. And they also know him as a great philanthropist, supporting institutions in Israel and the diaspora, and often in a profound and long-term way. But I can tell you that the best word to describe my father was actually teacher. And in fact, my father was a teacher, and more than once in his life. In the middle of World War II, when my father managed to escape Nazi-occupied Poland and then the Soviet Union and make his way to pre-state Israel, one of his first jobs was as a school teacher at the Reali School in Haifa. And at around the same time, during the summer, my father actually organized a summer camp for kids, many of them war orphans and refugees. And when my father first emigrated to Montreal, following the period of time he spent enrolled at Yeshiva University in the early 1950s, his first job was actually as a teacher. In fact, at the end of his life, a life filled with successes and achievements, he counted the experience of teaching as among the most meaningful of his professional career. I think one of the most interesting things about my father's approach to education was his deep belief in the critical role a teacher could play in a child's life. He himself had had such an experience. He used to chuckle and mischievously recount some of his exploits as a rebellious adolescent and teenager and not a particularly good student, in his hometown in Poland before the war. But he would always end these tales by speaking with reverence about his middle school teacher, Isak Vasolik, at the Jewish day school he attended. Isak Vasolik turned him on to reading, reading literature and to art and design, and by doing so, got him to take all his subjects seriously, and, as he always said, transformed him into a good student. I think my father's personal and transformative experiences with a great teacher, and then his own experiences as a teacher, very much informed the choices he made as a philanthropist and the vision and mission we currently follow at the Azrieli Foundation. A belief in maximizing human potential is the heart of our commitment to education, as is the belief that education is the key to community continuity and to improving and developing societies. These beliefs are at the very core of our charitable activities. And of course, these values are at the heart of our early and long-term support of the Graduate School of Jewish Education and Administration at Yeshiva University. In fact, David Azrieli's decision to endow and establish the school at YU was his first big philanthropic investment. It gave him so much pleasure to watch the school grow and develop. I'd like to share something he wrote with you that I think captures how he felt about his support of the Azrieli School at YU. He wrote, I never considered my support of education and various educational institutions to be charity. I always considered it giving back what education has given me. In every case, I feel I have received more than what I have given. You are about to embark on the challenging journey of shaping the young minds of the future. I heartily congratulate you on your chosen path. I'd like to leave you with another idea my father was fond of sharing. Once, when asked about philanthropy, he said, you must give with your heart and in such a way that one believes it is going to make a difference. The Azrieli School at YU was so close to his heart, and it is close to ours in the family and the foundation. And we know that the students here have and will make a difference. As you go into the world to educate the minds and hearts of the next generation, may you draw on the values and traditions of our Jewish heritage to build an enlightened world. Mazal tov and yashar koach.